Hi everybody, it's Shanna. Um, I'm going to make a video. I got kind of chewed out because I haven't done any videos um, since my grandma passed away. And partly because I just haven't had any time to actually make anything. And partly just, you know, I have been moving my craft space because um, I got a bunch of sewing stuff from my grandma. And so I'm having to renegotiate where things are at in my house. So um, that has taken a lot more time than I wanted. And I will make a video after I'm done. I'm almost done. I'm waiting on my husband to put up a shelf. But I've been making some Christmas cards. And um, I'm going to want to show you some of the cards I've been working on before I divvy them up to people. So um, first of all, I made a set... Um, I did three different kinds with the same stamp. This is actually, um, I actually have the stamp here. It is a stamp set called Oh Come Let Us Adore Him from um, Close to My Heart. I really like the stamp set and I bought this off the scrapyard. My only thing as I was upset about was Close to My Heart puts all their stamps in a sleeve. And the lady who I bought this from did not tell me in advance that she wasn't going to send the sleeve. Um, she decided it didn't fit the package very well. And I was very disappointed because I kind of wanted the sleeve to keep it in. So I'm going to put it in something else now. But just word to wise people who are selling, you know, if you're not going to include that, you know, it's kind of nice to know before you buy it. Because I thought I was getting the whole thing because she showed the sleeve in the video. Or the picture. Actually, it was a video. Actually, it was a YouTube video, I think. Um, so, I did three different stamps. This particular one um, is done in blues. And I actually used Memento. I got a bunch of little, um, the little dew drops because I couldn't afford the, you know, full pads. So, this particular one is this Summer Sky um, blue, and then I just, this was some old paper I had, and some ribbon, and then this lace is some lace I got from Trish at, uh, One Craft Cottage, and she had it on Real Deal Scrappy Stills on Facebook, um, I don't know, you could probably Facebook her, I know she still has some, and then this particular one I did with, um, this Cottage Ivy, green and again this is some um, trim I got from Trish and it doesn't I don't know why well, I glued it down so you can't see it I don't think I have any there's a little you can see this seam which I don't know if you can see it right here you can see that stitch seam there which is why I needed to cover um, the top part of that trim up and then the red one is ladybug and I did it red and greens, but red stamped. Oh, and I did stamp each one of them on the inside um, with the verse from Luke. So I made two of each of those. Those are actually going to go to some people who gave my son a ride at the robotics competition. So, hopefully, I didn't get to see them when they brought him home, so I'm hoping I'll see him this weekend. Um, and let's see, so that, and so my little, and that, just the greatest little keep thing there. Um, then I have this card um, that I made, I, I don't know, I, I want to say this is a whimsy doodle stamp, but I can't swear to it. Um, I was just setting and coloring one night and had colored up a couple of these so I put her in the corner I um, embossed Merry Christmas down here the bottom a couple little poinsettias for my and roses then this stamp I actually got on Goodwill actually I found it um, they still have my Goodwill sticker for $1.99, $1.49, something like that. Um, it says, Merry Christmas Sled by Stampabilities 2008. 
I just thought it was so funny. And um, so I had to make a couple cards with that. Then um, I have Cartabella um, Trish had given me for helping her with some stuff. She gave me this Cartabella Christmas uh, paper pack. And I took the sticker out of it. Um, and made it just slapped it on a card and I don't know where I got the flyer from and there was another sticker for the inside so I thought that was pretty um, then I also had bought um, a while back the new not new uh, the Christmas Emporium from graphic 45 which you know just smells an easel card and I'm gonna see if I can this a little bit here so that I can um, so I matted the picture and then I just kind of put it like that now I took that this is some trim that Trish had that was red and crocheted and I just layered like three layers on top of each other and then a little green this was a wood piece I found and this is um, a die cut piece from my creative time she actually has a new layering piece that goes on that that I just got last week and so I put that in the middle to write on um, and then these are just two flowers that are a fabric it was in my stash so I thought that's very pretty very vintagey um, old-fashioned Christmas and then let's see this one I just found this um, I hope that sticks down. I may need to put some more stuff there. This was just um, an image that was in a card kit that somebody had given me. And I took my um, Distress inks and just um, put them on the craft mat with a, a little sprinkle of water and paint brushed them on there. Um, I had participated in a card, some card kit swaps last year and forgot about it. This was in my stash of Christmas stuff. So... I thought it was pretty and just added a couple buttons and just stamp season greetings. So I was just sitting here fiddling one night this weekend. Um, this is a set I made and these actually came together really fairly fast actually. This is from the Stamps of Life. Um, it was the first time I joined their membership club and you get, it's Stephanie Bernard on YouTube, and she does it, a monthly um, stamp club. It's like $10.95 plus a dollar shipping, so it's $11.95 a month. You get a stamp um, set, and this was like, I think I've done it for three months now, so I want to say it was back in September. And I just stamped each one of these trees and cut them out, fussy cut them, and then um, stamped the Love, Peace, and Joy, and then I... I'm not sure I hadn't put Merry Christmas. I actually need to stamp Merry Christmas in these. Um, other than that, I just formatted them on some paper, threw a little ribbon in the bottom with a bow. But I was able to mass, you know, I mass produced these pretty fast. I made five of them really fast. I mean, it took me just, you know, a few, like two or three hours. Well, and I thought I had done six of them when I did that, so I had made six bases and. I didn't actually stamp that many. So um, I had some chipboard pieces from the Maya Road box, which I'll upload that video also. And I had lindied them in um, red, so they're really sparkly. I don't know if it shows it, but they are. This is just a swirl that I made, and it was just kind of silly, but I figured it works, right? Then, um, a couple cards I made, I found some in my, I throw all my Christmas stuff in one spot, so anything I've done Christmas related to swaps or tags or anything like that, I throw in my Christmas bin, and so I recycled a few of those and made them into Christmas cards. So this one I took and made a pocket out of it and put a piece of paper in here for um, a word, and I put Merry Christmas on it. I'm not sure what to think. This is Lindy's um, embossing powder, and it was the some twinkling silver or something or other. And, you know, when you look at it really close, it's speckly. 
I don't know if it shows that. I mean, it's got a shimmer like crazy when we angle it, but when you're just looking straight on, it's speckled. I'm not sure if that's purposeful or not, or what to think about it, but I still like it, and I can't remember who gave this to me, but I love the little magnolia. She did a great job coloring. And this particular one, I um, it was a recipe swap, and I took the recipe off the front, and I put this Merry Christmas in chipboard letters, a little die cut at the bottom. I love the emboss here. And it opened this way. And I put a, just a blank piece of paper to write on. And I made that into a Christmas card. So I just wanted to be able to recycle the stuff that I had. And then the last one that I've worked on, which I told Trish I would do a video by itself. Um, probably won't be till after Christmas, though. But I'm going to save one of these um, to keep for myself. Is um, I bought some of that honey pot paper from Ink, Ink, Inky Antiques. And I was, hadn't decided what I wanted to do with it yet. But I thought it would be cute if I made some ornament balls. So, I mean, you can see this is not going to go in a letter. It's going to have to go to somebody I'm hand delivering. Or probably in one of my swap packages. I may actually... Um, send this to Miss Kim when I, I got a mail box to her this weekend so um, I just love it you know this is this is the rainbow paper so it's all different colors um, this one's just a little pink and this one is the magenta and then I used um, the chipboard letters I got from the My Road box and I actually um, versa marked the chipboard directly and put um, the Ranger Gold embossing powder on it. And I did that like three times um, to get this really thick, metal-y look. So I really like the way this turned out. I might, get, should, might have some other ideas to use the Honey Pot paper for. Um, so I will be doing a video on how, to, how I did that. Um, and I'll show you some other, this is, when I did that chipboard pieces for that, I still had these pieces left. I had six pieces left from the Meyer Road box. And so I actually took some different Lindy embossing um, powder that I had. And I did the same thing. I Versa marked it. And then I put the powder and sprayed it. Um, heat gunned it. And then I had to Versa mark it again. But then when I heat gunned it this time, it it got kind of bubbly but it wasn't quite thick enough yet so then I directly put it in the embossing powder you know a little pile I had made on the sheet of paper and then um, by the third time then I got this really nice um, thick puffy it's like my own thickers I guess um, so those are going to go on a card I just haven't figured out what yet I think I may actually put it on this box I'm working on so so, um, I hope you like my Christmas cards, and I look forward to seeing everybody else's. Thanks so much.